S toxicity toxic the whole toxic vibe hold everyone accountable to their actions and behavior if you don't do that they will keep doing what they are doing because nobody pushed back and they will say well i can do whatever i want the same way that we not allow a stranger to step on you and speak your mind do the same with your family do the same with your relatives do the same with your religious or faith uh, community do the same at your workplace do the same everywhere don't have double standards speak your mind yes speak your mind now it may not be what people have gotten used to but what's the worst that could happen in comparison to what's already happening what do i mean if someone has already gotten used to hurting people and speaking and doing things and nobody holds them accountable what will stop them from getting worse in it what will stop a relative from not only abusing maybe your parent and then moving to you and then your children and then all that because someone never stood up no stand up let them call you names let them give all these fabricated lies but step up and stand up you are not born so that you can eat drink work have a family get old get grumpy then die no you have a purpose in life whatever it is may god guide you in that journey you are not born just to be everyone's emotional doormat where everybody just steps and moves in and moves out whether with, with their dirty shoes or dirty legs or whatever it is you have a purpose don't let people step over you so don't have double standards what do i mean the way you will not tolerate a stranger from doing bad towards you in terms of words speech or action do the same to your family do the same around let them know speak your mind hey say hey i respect you in your authority but won't tolerate what you've done because if you don't do that you start building up a toxic culture within your own environment once an empathetic person become a narcissistic psychopathic sociopath you know the, the whole list just keeps going and going and going then now mental health becomes a very big issue you have to tell people there's this lie people use um uh, where they say being wise is just being silent about it well it's not only it's not just being silent it's about speaking it's about taking an action yeah take that bold action speak your mind speak your thoughts what's the worst that could happen than the worst that they already done to you or will do to you if you don't speak in the same way if a family member relative uh, family member parents relative does things says things that are wrong that hurt that are abusive you must step up because if you don't those below you who are vulnerable shall be victims what will be their value when all of you are seated somewhere then one person remembers an abusive incident then all of you remember but you had the opportunity at that time to break that cycle what's the value step up why do you go to school why do you learn what so that you can be a robot speak your mind you in a workplace you are a lady this boss comes he wants to touch your leg or wants to you know brush him, himself close to your cheek or something push him back tell them mm -mm, this is wrong or if you're a guy which now seems to be an a thing that's happening and people don't talk about it a lady boss steps up to you and then spanks you behind her thinking eh? and then tells you do you like it no that's nonsense step up why just because they'll fire you so what did you even know they did you even know that you're going to wake up and even work speak your mind 
Stop allowing people to step over you. Don't be an do emotional doormat where everybody just comes and pa 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 gone. And they always say, oh yeah, we have this dustbin. We'll always be throwing there. You have something special in you. Don't let people step over you because they think they are entitled to it. Hold every. It does not matter who they are. Hold everyone accountable to their action. The church is actually the most toxic place than ever. Religion, not only church, but we can give within the religious, relig yeah, religious faith, religion. Yeah, just put it all there. Why? Because people out there who are of high leadership, they do things, they make statements, and their actions they take, and nobody holds them accountable. Why? Because people fear, what will my fellow co congregants or community or whatever say, or oh, they'll turn against me? Step up. Step up and tell that person in leadership, you are doing wrong. And if they tell you, who are you, tell them, I'm a human being. Last I checked. What you're doing is wrong. And do not bow down to your words. Yes, they will hit back. Oh, they will hit back. But step up. Be bold and courageous. Even the Bible is clear. Revelations, I think, 21. Even cowards go to hell. So you want to be a coward, really? Nah, step up. Even look at scripture. The Bible at no point do we see it use people who are strong. It was the weak people. The people, people who thought they were nothing. Those are the people God used. And he told them to be bold and courageous. You think it's easy? No, it's not. You think it's easy to tell a parent that what you've been doing is wrong time and time again? No, it's not easy. You know the first thing they will do? Hit defense and attack. You know what you do? Stand your ground yes you will be isolated you will be rejected you will be kicked out you will go through so much but stand your ground relatives come in and say oh you're supposed to do this do that tell them hey just because you have been given an allowance in your home in your workplace when it comes to my life don't cross that line because i will hit back and yeah, if you need to hit back, hit back. Don't need to hit back physically. Just speak your mind. Cut them off. I mean, there's... Block them. You don't need to go to the invitation. So what? Why? So you can be a bunch of hypocrites in one room saying, hey, is everyone okay? Yeah. Nah. Toxicness, you can end it when you break that cycle. It won't be easy. These are facts you need to live with. It can take even 20 decades. But one day, one day, every effort you make will count. Do not allow anyone. It does not matter if they are related to you by blood or not. It doesn't matter their level of authority. It doesn't matter their level of influence. It doesn't matter what they hold against you, whether it's blackmail. It doesn't matter. Step up. It won't be easy. Step up. It won't go as much as you want. Step up and tell them no. A big no. Simple. It won't be easy. But you have to step up and they will step out. Sometimes you have to lock that door and never explain. You don't need to explain why you say no. Give them the facts. They can take it. They can rub it off. But don't allow. And even when they come back and say they're apologizing, don't be a fool. I always use this concept of a snake all over again. Remember what a snake does when, suppose, when it wants to spit or even bite. First one, watches still walking second one stumbling third one you are down then it goes just because they say they are sorry and they have apologized not every one of them has a good intention some of them they are waiting for another loophole and then they attack don't allow toxicness and an abusive life to trickle down stop it when you still have the chance don't lie to yourself that because you're in a relationship and you have kids that 
if you don't do anything, everything is going to be okay. I don't know why people use this within a church context. No, you don't divorce, don't do this, don't do this. Oh, nee, nee, nee. So what? How many blows are you going to take? How many knives will you be stabbed with? How many kicks will you take? When does it ever end? When you step up. Oh, the community, oh, they will they'll take back their diary. Oh, so what? Were you born? Were you a prize put so that people can negotiate all your life? Are you a human being or are you an item, a disposable property? You have to make your choices. Being in a toxic relationship and you have kids doesn't mean that your kids are going to say, Mom, keep taking the blows. I will love you more. Or oh, Dad, take taking the abuses from mom, you're going to be, no, it's affecting those children. And what's going to happen? One of those children will become worse or become scared. Step up. Stepping up against toxic culture. Let's look at social media. People have become so desensitized to everything. When people die, just another day. Look at the now short clips nowadays. Is so many you can you can if you're not careful you'll find yourself and if you don't have filters you'll see so much imagery of death until it becomes so normal that when it happens you're like ah I saw it too many times it's okay no there's someone who has fallen who's injured go and assist them help those you can help be the light because the world is becoming darker. But be that candle that never stops burning. It won't be easy. You will break. You will be isolated. You will be hunted down. You will go through a lot and a lot and a lot. But don't bow down. Step up and stand out. Toxicness is a not here. Have that stop sign. And you don't need to explain to anyone. Because if you don't, their own stop doing what they are doing. Some people will never stop being slanderers, gossipers, and all other manner of things your mind could fathom. Speak your mind. And if they'll keep going out there and telling people bad about you. You know, it has a two sides of a coin on that one. These people start wondering, is this guy that bad? And then they start doing their own investigation. They realize, you're actually good. Now they will turn against that person. You see, it always has two sides of a coin. It can, it can always flip. So stop worrying what people will say. So because he's a religious leader, so what? Hold him accountable. Hold her accountable. It's your boss. Hold him accountable. Hold her accountable. Stop being an emotional Domat that everybody or an emotional punching bag that everybody is going to come, kick you, beat you, and they're going to st stand there and say, No, I'm just a nice person. Stop being nice. Roll that dice. And stop being nice. Step up, stand out. You are not born to be anyone's emotional domat or punching bag. Say no, step up and stand out. May God be with you.